curve competition. But right now, we are focused and locked in on the men's gold medal match. Featuring a young man from Denmark and another young man from the United States. Compound gold. And it's Martin Damsbo of Denmark taking on Braden Gelantine of the United States. Good look at Martin Damsbo. Seated number one. World Cup ranking number two. World ranking number eight. Three and one so far on the season. And one and oh in head to head competition against Braden Gelantine, the man he'll be matched up against in this event. Braden Gelantine back for the third time here center stage on the River Boulevard. So Braden Gelantine, there you see the numbers on him, weren't ranked number two in the world. Been on the national team for 10 years now. And his best finish came just last fall in Tokyo as he beat Rio Wild to win a gold medal at the World Cup Finals. Braden's got a couple of gold medals so far today in men's competition, men's team competition, and mixed team competition. In fact, it was his shot, the final shot of the mixed team match that wrapped up the gold medal. So he's going for three gold medals, but it'll have to get past Martin Damsbo. And Martin Damsbo, who had a tough road to the finals, had to defeat Sergio Pagne in the quarters, then edged Rio Wild in the semis by one point, and also along the way this week, nice had to defeat down. Peter Elzinga. So uh, he worked his way here. He earned he did. this. <laughs> Definitely. The Great Dane, almost 28 years yeah, old, starts off strong. As right does here. Braden nice Gelantine. Yeah, Braden was great in the team round this morning, not dropping a point. Dropped a couple in the mixed team. <laughs> Can't afford to drop a point here as Martin Damsbo, who's competing for the first time today. Very Looks very fresh, very strong, but so does Braden Gelantine. Gets a nice fist bump from the coach. And so, once again, a close match, just as the bronze medal match was. These guys shooting even better, coming out firing tens right across the board. Good look at Martin Damsbo. As we said, ranked eighth in the world. Spent some time in Australia during the off season and try to get ready, which is a good idea. It's a little chilly in Denmark during the winter. Tough to shoot. It is. It's been chilly in Great Britain as well. We've had similar <laughs> sort of weather. Um, chilly so. in Great Britain? Very. No, <laughs> you say. We, we've had the worst spring ever. <laughs> but yeah, I was speaking to Martin earlier in the week and he's pretty much had the same conditions as us, cold and windy, so. That's when you head south to Australia. Sounds good to me. Yep. <laughs> Do a little shooting down there. It has been three years since Martin Damsbo last appeared in a World Cup gold medal match and it was in Antalya and it was against Braden Gelantine in stage two. And he lost to Braden at that time. Yeah. So he's had a long wait. He has, but Martin has been shooting really well this week. So I, I, again, it's gonna come down to who, who blinks first. Fimpton. Dam's bow applies the pressure. Braden on the line. Valentine on the line. And Martin Damsbo refuses to miss. He does. He looked like he had a little steer on that one, though, to help it. And you could tell as soon as he let it fly. Yeah. Oh, Martin's done the same. Martin helps Gillantine out. Returns the favor. 
Yep. So there's a 10 on the final shot. A pair of bullseyes sandwiched around that nine for Braden Gelanty. So not much has changed. One medal last year in World Cup competition. That was a team silver in Antalya for Martin Damsville. As for Braden Gelantine, he won five World Cup medals last year, including the gold medal in the finals. By the way, he won the finals using a bow that he borrowed from his girlfriend after he broke his own. <laughs> That shows some talent to just set up a bow. Yeah. I wonder if he's got a new bow. I suppose he does. I'm sure I, I'm sure he does. I'm sure he's got a new bow. Or he might have just kept that one if it won. You know what? It worked. <laughs> Broke his bow apparently right before the trip to Tokyo, borrowed his girlfriends, and it all worked out. I'd keep the bow. Fimpton. Back in the okay, 10 so ring with Martin Damsbo. Yep, great shot right there. Brayden responds with a 10. So we're still tied. Now it's 69 all. Fim. Final match in the compound competition today here in Shanghai. And it's a good one. And now Damsbo faltering just a little bit. Yep, right there. And Braden with a chance to break on top, which he does. Goes up 79, 78. Shot for shot. Yep, good job, right there. Three X's for Braden. And you can see the emotion coming out in Braden Gelanty, and I love watching him shoot. He competes with a lot of emotion. He bottles it up, but he's not afraid to show it. So after eight ends, it's 88 points for Martin Damsbo, 89 as Braden Gelanty outscores him 30 to 29 in that third end. Racking up long jeans. So a one point lead at 89-88. Six arrows left to shoot in the gold medal match. Martin, shoot first. Fim. Chi. Ni. No. Now a little bit low. Yeah. Door's definitely open for Braden now. Yep, right there. And he's going for the kill. Fim. So, nine. Overcompensating, shoots a little high. Yep, Marty, right there, right there. And Braden Gelantine picking up steam. He looks like he's shooting nice and Fim. relaxed at the moment. Has a three-point lead. Chi, ni. As we approach the final arrow of this end, a 10 for Martin Damsbo. And we'll have to see if it's a little too little yep, too late. The way Brayton Gallantine is firing him up there right now, he's going to be tough to catch. He's fired up, definitely. So Brayden trying to go for a sweep of gold medals here in Shanghai in stage one. What a great way that would be to start your season. Yeah, definitely. I mean, uh, one medal would be nice, but three. <laughs> three? <laughs> That's when you get a little greedy. That's all right, though. In sports, it's all right to get a little greedy. It sure is. Trying to stay in the moment, stay calm, composed. Has a three-point lead, 119 to 116 over Martin Damsbo, who, as we said, is making his first appearance in a World Cup gold medal match in three years, trying to atone for the loss to Braden Gelantine and Antalya three years ago. 
But right now, Guillantine with the upper hand as Damsbo will shoot first in the fifth and final end. T. Sure. Starts off with a 10. Lee mid for. Yep, right sure. there. Ten. Good job. But Braden Guillantine not about to let off the gas pedal. Fim. Ti, ni, otte, syv, six, fem. Nope, nine. And that may have sealed his fate. I think it probably has. If that didn't, Bryn Galantine intends to. Oh. Although, <laughs> that being said, he's almost in the eight ring. But he had that four point cushion to work with. The lead is now down to three. Finish it with your shot now. And the last shot of the day for Martin Damsbo was a great one. Eight or better. And Braden Gelantine will win his third gold medal of the day. And he does just that. Gold. 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 For Braden Gelantine. As he and Martin Damsbo exchange handshakes. But what a day it has been for that young man, Braden Gelantine, 27 years old, the reigning World Cup champion in Tokyo last fall, breaking through against Rio Wild. And here today, he wins in the men's team competition, picks up a gold medal. He was flawless then. And then in the mixed team competition, or did I say mixed team? Nope. It, no, mixed team competition, he came through with a shot that actually won it for the United States, he and Erica Jones. He teamed up with Rio Wild and Roger Willett this morning to win the men's team gold medal in convincing fashion. Then comes through with a clutch shot in mixed team competition and now pulls away and wins it by three points over Martin Damsbo. So a real sweep and in my mind,